Good morning, everybody. We're here at Minot Flying J in North Dakota. Getting ready for our day. Do your thing, Chev. So we have quite a drive ahead of us today yet. It's about 1,060 kilometers to Eagle River, Wisconsin from here. There's a chance I could possibly just barely make it, but I have a feeling I'll probably be going to the same truck stop I stopped at last time I was on this route, which is uh, just, what was it, just west of Duluth, Minnesota, I think. And then we go from D around Duluth in the morning into Wisconsin, and Eagle River is just a little ways from there. I mean, we'll see how far we make it today, but I am still on time. I'm still early, so I can still continue to try this... Uh, fuel savings method as much as I can today. I'm trying to drive a little slower than usual uh, as long as I'm not holding up traffic. If I'm holding up traffic I'm just gonna do the speed limit. I'm not one of those guys but you know if I'm just the only one on the road I'm gonna be doing about 55 miles an hour uh, in the slow lane and if there's a two-lane highway well I'll just do the speed limit. I don't want to be that guy who's holding everybody up but I'm trying to save as much fuel as possible. Yesterday I did really good actually and we saved what we saved over fifty dollars the first day I saved over $60 yesterday. That's already over $100 that's going to be in my pocket at the end of the month instead of floating around in the atmosphere as exhaust. So That's pretty cool. Oh no, it's all muddy. And I know you're going to go straight to the back with those muddy paws. We're going to try to get some of that mud off of you before you go in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> And another day, another page in the life of me. Here we go. I wish I had a little bit more time to visit the Blue Beacon truck wash here. But I don't have that much time. I have enough time to get there. Maybe I'll be able to find a truck wash tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be mostly a day off. I have the hours to get to my customer. I explained this to you already, right? But I'm only gonna have maybe one or two left over after I deliver tomorrow. Which isn't gonna get me far out of Northern Wisconsin. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be parked for tomorrow and then I can continue driving on Tuesday. If I can get to the customer tonight, oh, maybe that won't work, not too sure. Either way, tomorrow I'm going to be parked relaxing. The government of the United States of America says I have driven too much. I have worked too much this week and I need a day off. They demand it. And they threaten to arrest me if I dare work tomorrow. What I, what I mean is that in the United States I'm only allowed to drive 70 hours within 8 days. That's the law. In Canada, I can drive 70 hours within seven days, and then on the eighth day, I can take the hours from the first day and add that on to my total amounts. So that, so that I never go over 70 hours in seven days, right? But in the US, since it's 70 hours in eight days, that's less. You can't get as far, and if I was in Canada, I wouldn't be out of hours. But since I'm in the US, I'm gonna be out of hours tomorrow, so I have to shut down and park. That's another reason why it's tougher to make money as a truck driver when you're driving in the U.S. because their their laws and regulations here for truckers uh, prevent you from making money sometimes. I'm not, that's not a shot at the U.S. I love you guys. Don't. I'm just comparing right now, and I shouldn't talk too much, I guess, because you know as soon as Canada realizes that U.S. is doing something, little brother of little brother Canada wants to, you know, follow in the footsteps of big brother America right away, and they're going to change all their laws. And... It's sort of like a running joke with us. Whatever the U.S. does, you can bet Canada's going to do it too. Even if they go to war. Hey, if U.S. decides they're going to war, guess what? So are we. If they decide the war's over, guess what? Woo, we're going home. If they decide truckers need more laws, guess what? Canada suddenly decides, you're right, big brother. Truckers do need more laws. We're such a little puppy. A little, we're like the little puppy of America. Just arriving in Grand Forks, North Dakota. The bridge to Minnesota is just ahead of us there. And of course, this light doesn't like me. How dare you turn red? How dare you? 
don't know if you can see it yet. It's, it's a ways ahead. The fisheye lens of the GoPro makes it hard to see far distances away. But it looks like it's probably about a three quarter mile or a half mile ahead. We're gonna cross over the Red River. That's the river that flows into Manitoba. So Manitoba's left of us, straight north of here. Well, we've been traveling along highway number two. And that's the highway that uh, is the northernmost main major highway, US highway in North Dakota before you hit the Canadian border with Manitoba and Saskatchewan. So it is a four lane highway all the way up to Grand Forks here uh, from Minnesota, uh, from Minot. Anyways, that's where we've been traveling on it. And I, I have a feeling that once we get into Minnesota, it might turn into a two lane, but we are going to keep continuing down this road all the way through Minnesota. It's a less traveled route. You wouldn't see much freight moving through here, but we get to go take a look at it anyways. Here's the bridge. I believe it's the same town. I don't know if Grand Forks is fully on the west side of the Red River here or what's on the other side, if they call it a different name. Welcome to Minnesota. Like a little further south of here, there's Fargo, North Dakota on the North Dakota side of the river and then Moorhead, Minnesota on this side. Now we're officially in Minnesota. Oh, it says East Grand Forks right here. Oh, okay, well that's simple enough. So Grand Forks is on the North Dakota side, East Grand Forks is on the Minnesota side. But the majority of the city is on the other side on North Dakota. Wonder how that works, you know, I guess. I wonder if there's like differences in taxes. Like if property taxes or income taxes are totally different on this side of the river, I would just move to the other side of the river if it's the same city. I just live wherever the taxes are the cheapest. <laughs> or maybe they're exactly equal. I don't know. Still got a long ways to go yet. We'll be driving late into the night. This is Deer River, Wisconsin. Oh, pardon me. No, we're still in Minnesota, aren't we? Deer River, Minnesota. Yeah, I think that's right. The last time we came through here, it was... They had all their Christmas decorations up, I think. They still got their little snowflakes up on their light poles. That's nice. I like it when little towns decorate. Gives you a little bit of feeling of community spirit. We are getting close to Eagle River right now. This is not Eagle River yet, but this is one of these awesome northern Wisconsin towns. Up here in the northern part, like right near uh, like northern Michigan, right near that border. Not a lot of people come up here unless if they live here, right? There's not a lot of through traffic here like there is on, on the interstates. So usually when you come to these communities, this is like America as it was from the beginning, sort of. You know what I mean? <laughs> Small town America. Not saying that the big cities in aren't, aren't America, don't take it that way. But this is, this is true small town America, you know, unfiltered. There's no people here that aren't here for a reason, you know, because they live here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It's probably coming out all wrong. But you know what I mean, right? This is sort of like a, where we live in Canada as well. Am I going? Am I going? My turn, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry, I'm really heavy. I'm kind of slow. Don't look at me like that. It's kind of the area that we live in too in Canada. And these are my favorite areas too because they're they're untouched, what I like to say. I don't know if I'd want to live on like the Trans Canada. Not that there's not a lot of great communities along the Trans Canada, but I like the quietness of communities like this. You know, the, the small town hospitality where everybody sort of knows everybody. And you know, if there's a douchebag in town, everybody knows. I know a couple of douchebags myself. Believe me, been dealing with one in specific this week, but nonetheless, there are way more good people than bad people in this world. Let's leave it at that. The bad ones just really suck and they're really annoying. Looks like we got some nice hills coming up here though. Right on. If you haven't figured it out yet, I've combined yesterday and today into one day. So we didn't actually get all the way here. 
from Minot in one day. <laughs> we made it to uh, right where we thought we would, just west of Duluth, Minnesota. Look at this guy on the right here, sitting there. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I don't know if the camera picked that up or not. That was funny. But uh, we're just about at the customer here, and I, I've called in and asked what my next directions are, because I only have two hours remaining on my 70-hour clock. And uh, there's no direction that they want me to head yet. I can't move till tomorrow, I guess, then. They want to try to find me a load uh, to Southern Ontario, to St. Catharines there again, to uh, pick up some more steel. Probably take it to Alberta again. So I was kind of hoping to go home from here, but I guess I'll take what I can get, right? Still gotta work. So that means I'll be gone probably another five days, maybe. So from here, I'm guessing the St. Catharines would probably be just over a day's drive. But let's say we leave tomorrow, Tuesday, I'd get there Wednesday. Plus I have to pick up a load and deliver it in the meantime. So Wednesday, probably get to my reload in St. Catharines Thursday. Reload it there, that takes a lot of the day. Start heading home. Thursday, Friday, be home either Saturday night or Sunday. And when I'm filming this right now, it's, what is it today, Monday? It's still another week yet that I'll be on the road. Uh, that's okay, I guess. Oh, I miss my wife and miss being at home. And There's some stuff going on right now at home behind the scenes that I'd, I'd really like to be with her for right now. But life of a trucker, right? Drama will always show up. But I'd really like to be there to stand with her. Some people just not treating us very nicely. But, you know, we'll come out of it, right? Life is about Overcoming, becoming better people. Hard things will be thrown at us all the time and sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes others make mistakes. Sometimes it's, the blame goes both ways. But what really defines us is how we come out of it. We all can get angry and say things we regret in anger. But, uh, it's life, you know? I've got my private life at home. I've got my YouTube life. I try not to, uh, mix those two, and sometimes I mix them a little bit too much. Can you howl? Can you howl? Hmm? Let me turn the mic around so that everybody can hear you. Okay. All right, I want you to sing, okay? You sing. Good singing, good singing. Oh, you're ready to party now. You're ready to party now. <laughs> here, let's take this off. You don't need this on while you're in here. There you go. There you go, a little more comfy, a little more comfy. Oh, nice and itchy. Oh, is that the spot? Is that the spot? Where is it? Where is it? Is it down? Isn't that your spot? Where's the spot? Where's the spot? Where's the spot? It's here somewhere. Where's the spot? Maybe in there. Where's the spot? There's a spot like underneath his front leg here somewhere. And if you scratch it just right, his back leg starts thumping. Like Thumper on Bambi, right? <laughs> Can you shake a paw? Wait, 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 go back up there. Can you shake a paw? Can you shake a paw? Oh, good boy, nice to meet you. Other one, other one. Nice to meet you. Good boy. You want a treat? You want a treat? Can you sing one more time and I'll give you a treat? Can you sing? One 
one more. Good boy. Good boy. I know where the treats are. Mm -hmm. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He's allergic to everything except pigs. You're not allergic to pigs, man. Have some oink. There you go. Oh, that smells disgusting. Enjoy. Go on. Go up on there. Come on. Go a little further. Get up on that. You forgot your treat here, bud. Here. There you go. Enjoy. You earned it. Only one more left after this, man. Ooh, one more left. I'm gonna put it in the treat drawer up here. The treat section. Some of these treats in here are for uh, for Diesel, because Diesel's usually with me. Uh, the rest of these treats I can't even show to Chevy because uh, they have chicken in them. And Chevy is allergic to chicken. But he's not allergic to pig. <laughs> so while he enjoys that, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> sit here and do absolutely nothing and relax like a boss. Did I tell you where we are yet? I didn't even, I didn't even tell you where we are. Did here we are. So we're at the Cinex. I had to stop here because I only had seven minutes left on my 70 hour clock. We're here at the back of the lot. Just enjoying ourselves, enjoying the sunset behind us so it's not in our face. But uh, I had to stop because uh, my logbook, the government said, thou shalt stop within seven minutes. So here we are. I did plan to be here, so we made it right where I wanted to be. I'm picking up a load tomorrow in Minnesota. The load is bobcats. I believe I'm gonna have three bobcats on my flatbed behind me. I'm gonna have to use the chains. I haven't had to chain anything down in quite a while. So I'm excited to actually be hauling a little bit of machinery, a little bit of something different than I've been doing recently with all the steel and the lumber I've been pulling around. So we gotta bring these three bobcats, three different dealers in Southern Ontario. I believe we got one in Barrie, Ontario, one in Brampton, and one in, uh, what's the other one? Not Brampton, I think it starts with a B also. Let me, let me check for you. I, I have the answers. I have the answers. Where are you going, good sir? I'm just looking at this. Brantford, that's the one. So we got Barrie, Brampton, and Brantford. Triple B. It's our load. After I'm done unloading those, I have to unload them all on Thursday, I believe, because what, today is Tuesday, and I can't move anywhere. So tomorrow I can recap nine hours, I believe. I'll have enough hours to get to the customer, get reloaded, and get probably about halfway to Canada. I'm gonna cross into Sarnia, Ontario, from uh, Port Huron, Michigan. And then on the 21st, which is in the past for you, I realize that. I filmed these a little bit in the past, it takes me a little while to put them together. On the Thursday, I have to deliver that, all three of them. And I'm guessing Friday morning, he's gonna want me in St. Catharines to load up some more of that steel. Maybe we'll have another wide load of that heavy steel. That steel that I was pulling when I realized I had that oil leak. So hopefully my engine is okay with that. Better be, because I'm the boss. And I say we're pulling it because it has very, very attractive numbers attached to it, once again. Actually, this Bobcat load is actually pretty good as well. Not bad. This lumber load actually paid pretty good too because it was all specialized lumber. It was all special cedar and it was being delivered to a, a custom wood place where they make all kinds of custom things for homes. So it, it actually did pay pretty good. So this the last couple of weeks of this month have been actually really good. I'm guessing that steel will be going to Alberta. So I'll be headed back through Ontario uh, Friday, Saturday. I'll get home Saturday or Sunday. Hopefully I can stay home for a day. I'm hoping Britt's gonna jump in the truck with me then. Uh, then we'll deliver that to Alberta probably on the following Wednesday and then head back home for the end of the month. So that's the rest of my month in a nutshell. I've been blabbering on here long enough. I believe I combined two days into one here. I'm not too sure if that's how it turned out or if I could make two videos out of this, but Thanks for watching anyways. I appreciate all of you. There's a lot of new people watching. I wanna welcome all of you. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, the little bell beside the subscribe button so that you get a little notification when I upload or when I release my next video. And if you want to get to know me a little better and follow me on my social media, or if you wanna go over and check out my wife's channel or her social media, all of those links to anything related to me on the internet is down below in the description of this and every one of my videos.
if you're if you're interested you can go down there and check it out you don't have to as long as you show up here again tomorrow and we'll hang out again i'll see you then